communication is paramount to everything we do in the aviation industry and it's as relevant in the air as it is on the ground. Pre-flight is a classic area where a lot of pilots uh, get undue distraction from other pilots, from op staff, from loading staff. There's a myriad of things happening in that uh, last hour before the aeroplane goes flying. What you have to do is be able to prioritise and you have to be able to break things down into chunks. So, for example, my first focus is getting the NOTAMs for the flight because that will determine all the requirements for the flight. And until I've done that one task, then nothing else is going to be able to fall into place. So that's where the prioritisation comes in. As you gain confidence in the aircraft, obviously you tend to become a little bit more assertive in, in the way the job should be done. Now it's always a fine line to walk between um, being assertive, I guess, and being passive. And it depends a little bit on the personality. I honestly believe if you are um, there for the genuine interest of the safety of that flight, your assertiveness will always be welcomed by the other crew member, whichever it comes in, to ensure at the end of the day you will achieve a safe outcome. And never allow the situation to, to get out of hand where you are sitting and you are saying to yourself, he must know what he's doing. They are the very situation that in the past have led to some serious incidents and accidents. Communication, they need to be able to communicate. If they don't communicate, then we don't know there's a problem. And, uh, and that includes communicating with their family, uh, managing their own fatigue uh, proactively as well, because that's the objective. Amended TAF, Mildura area. Valid from 10 to 18. Changes as follows. Severe thunderstorms with hail. Standard phraseology, it's paramount. It helps people interpret and process information quickly and accurately. Make it clear and concise. Don't get too quick on the radios, particularly if you've got longer, longer pieces of information to pass to either air traffic control or other, other people within your aircraft. You have to be able to communicate and you have to be able to manage distraction and sometimes you have to say, excuse me, I'm really busy here, I'm doing a flight plan, I'll be with you in a minute. Write it down, if it is long, put it on a knee pad first, then read, read it back to air traffic control as a further check and another way of, of mitigating the chances of getting something uh, mixed up. Sterile cockpits, if you've got some, it's basically a way of removing distractions. So if you're not using it at this stage, anytime you know you've got a busy workload coming up, then remove the distractions, just stick to the job. No loose discussions about what's happening this weekend, just focus on standard operating procedures. Just the radio calls required to do your job, focus on the task at hand, get back to the loose conversations once you get through that higher workload, and always recognise that sixth sense, that niggly feeling that, did I quite get that right? Is, is that correct? I'm not sure. Don't sit on that any time you get it. If you've ever got any doubt about a piece of information that you've passed or received, then please ask and clarify. It has saved a lot of people from some nasty incidents.